hello everyone. This is Catherine Oaks with Slice Marketing. And today I have the pleasure again to welcome Richard Purvis, who is the founder and CEO of Skin Modern. Hi, Richard. How are you today? Doing great, Catherine. Thanks for having me again. Well, you're very welcome. So today, Richard, we're going to speak about your book. Uh, in 2018, you wrote a book called Recalibrate, uh, Six Secrets to Resetting Your Age. The book teaches people how to change the way they eat, think, live, and age. Can you tell us why you decided to write this book? Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's interesting, Catherine. I, I've had so many years in this whole wellness industry, and I guess you might say I've been my own human guinea pig because I have literally tried everything and ultimately you figure out what works and what doesn't work. I tend to stay away from all the gimmicky things. I wouldn't say, you know, I've tried all of those. I've tried a few of them, but um, what the things that I, I've taken from all those years of experience seem to really work well for me. So I've been asked on, you know, countless occasions in social environments and just, you know, personal uh, close friends of mine and uh, family members and that kind of thing you know, what I do. And so I always share, you know, when I'm asked, uh, I typically don't share it without being asked, but when I'm asked, I, I share what I do and why um, I do it and what's behind it and, and my research and everything else. You know, and I've had the same comeback almost every time, you know, with all this knowledge, um, can you think about sharing it broader? So many people would benefit from it. And uh, the idea of a book was kind of implanted you know, five, six, seven years ago, maybe even longer, but realistically where I really applied myself to it like five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in the end, I just wanted to share what I've learned um, in this whole wellness industry with a broader audience. That makes sense. I mean, a book is the perfect medium to, to do just that. Um, so you have about 30 years of dedicated nutritional experience uh, combined with the latest scientific research that you have been doing on an, on an ongoing basis. And this in itself really tells me that you know what you're talking about, right? And that people should <laughs> pay attention to what you say because yes. you have that experience. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so. So the book specifically mentions six proven methods. Uh, that are great to apply in order to reset your health and youthful appearance. What are those? Yeah, Catherine, very, very good question. Um, well, first, let me just say that every principle discussed in the book and kind of same topics that I talk to people individually about are really meant to work synergistically. If we can do all of these things, we can get the absolute, uh, absolute optimal results. But the six, six secrets, you may say they don't really sound like secrets, but the secrets lie within how you address these particular six uh, principles. And the first one is nutritional intake. So everybody will kind of think, of course, we know how to eat well. Well, do you really know how to eat well? And do you know that eating certain things, you know, potentially do the reverse? They don't um, help you improve your aging. They actually age you earlier. So yeah, the single most important thing um, of the list of the six is what we put into our mouths. Um, you know, changes in diet can erase years from your face and improve your overall health. And I'm talking dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, a good diet increases energy, improves sleep, enhances skin tone and elasticity, clears foggy brains, supports weight loss, improves digestion, decreases inflammation, um, and minimizes um, achiness and puffiness that comes with inflammation, things like arthritis. Most of that's really lifestyle induced. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the first one. And I wish we had more time. I'd love to share a lot more about what you know the right kind of foods we can eat. But that's something we can maybe circle back on later in another interview. Right. Yeah. The second most important one is exercise, and and I know that <laughs> so many people hate the word exercise. But it can actually be really fun. And, and interestingly, this is something I love to always implant in someone's brain. Without exercise, you're missing out on the opportunity um, or missing out on the body's precise internal ability to signal cells to act younger, which makes you look and feel younger. 
Right. And it's a, it's a continuum. The more you move, the less you decay. So that's really what happens as a sedentary person is you decay. Right. I mean, do you want to be sitting on the couch, you know, eating crappy food at 30 years old and have aches and pains and arthritis and all of that? Yeah. I mean, there's no reason for it. If, if somebody could just make a little effort, even if it's four or five days a week, walking 30 minutes, they'll get amazing benefits. And I, I love to repeat this particular point. Doesn't everyone like the idea of signaling our body's biological um, process to have cells behave and act younger. And, and what I mean by that is that cells reproduce all the time. And as we, our lifestyle can slow that process or it can heighten the process. So exercise is one of those things that heightens it. So our bodies internally and externally behave younger because of this constant exercise. So that's another really big one. And, and these are in order of their importance. And interestingly, one that probably most people don't um, spend much time on is, uh, or thinking about is something called intermittent fasting. Mm. Um, everybody that I've spoken to historically conjures up this idea, oh my God, I'm, I, I can't eat for three days. There are really simple ways to do this. And um, I'll tell you my personal experience having tried all of them, the easiest one to incorporate into, into lifestyle, which is what I do and I've done it for years, um, believe it or not, if you had your last meal at seven o'clock at night and then just drank, you know, caffeine, uh, decaffeinated or caffeine free, um, teas at night or water, uh, preferably purified or reverse osmosis water and didn't have anything again until, you know, 10 o'clock the next day, that is a beautiful window, uh, yeah. for fasting, believe it or not, it's super easy to incorporate almost every single person that I've talk to about this that has tried it, it becomes almost a permanent fixture in their life. Doesn't mean you can't change that and and, and, and do it differently, but you could follow an 80-20 principle, which we'll talk about more. Do it 80% of the time and 20% of the time, do whatever you want right. and you'll still get amazing benefits. So why is it so important? Well, intermittent fasting um, really changes the function of cells, genes and hormones in our bodies. Mm. And um, the benefits, um, include things like improved brain function, uh, loss of body fat, lowered uh, blood pressure, improved heart health, uh, improved insulin sensitivity and glucose uh, uptake. Mm -hmm. Also it reduces the type uh, two diabetes risks and um, it decreases oxidative damage and inflammation and boost uh, cellular repair. The other cool thing about it is when your body is in that kind of um, biological fasting zone. And, and, and incidentally, one other thing to mention before I mention this point is that our bodies are meant to do that. If you look at, you know, our ancient, ancient ancestors, did they have tables full of food or fridges full of food? No, they went out and got a meal on the fly, typically, whether that was hunting, you know, wild animal or picking berries. So their bodies had, you know, small amounts of food and you know, they would have to go without for another 12 or 15 or even 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes um, sense. And they were not as sedentary either, right? They weren't sedentary at all. Yeah. So the benefits that, um, you know, do, doing this, the biological benefits, our bodies produce more super important hormones. And one of my favorite is human growth uh, hormone. Mm -hmm. So that has just huge implications if we're able to, you know, increase that naturally mm -hmm. without taking some kind of chemical or drug, yeah. but it has so many other benefits, including keeping us young. Yeah. So this is a great one to add, and that's why it's third on the list. Yeah. Another yeah. one that's kind of foreign to some people is our microbiome. Well, what is our microbiome? It's, it's our biological makeup of bacteria, good and bad. And again, because of our lifestyles, um, particularly in the Western world, we're getting way too much bad bacteria and we're, we're feeding bad bacteria with bad food choices. So they're, they're multiplying. So what happens in our guts, we have all kinds of issues um, from leaky gut syndrome to uh, poor absorption of nutrients. Our brain doesn't get the nutrients that uh, you know it needs and, and same thing with other organs. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we can have a healthy microbiome just by eating better, and that, that includes 
making sure we feed our guts the correct kind of bacteria that's in really good yogurt, not these cheap commercial ones. Right. And pickled vegetables like proper raw sauerkraut, not the, not the commercial uh, processed ones. But there are many things that can boost our uh, good bacteria um, profiles in our guts. Yeah. And there are lots of those things. And we could talk about that at another time too. And it's, of course, all of this is in the book. Right. But, um, and then prebiotics, which are things, you know, certain fibers from plants and, and um, um, you know, fruits and things like that, that also helps the good bacteria kind of do what the bad bacteria does when you're feeding it junk food, it multiplies. So we want to balance our microbiome. It has huge health implications, positive and negative. If we can make sure we get it right, we have phenomenal positive um, benefits from it. So th that's there's a lot more to the microbiome. So we don't really have time to today uh, today to go into all of it. But I would suggest that uh, someone they can reach out to me directly. I'm happy to respond, or they can pick up the book. Mm -hmm. And this uh, this next one is no surprise: sleep. <laughs> yeah. Sleep is absolutely critical that we get good sleep. Our bodies are not meant to run on four or five hours sleep. We have all kinds of issues health wise. Our body starts to uh, deteriorate sooner than it should. Um, but it plays a vital role in good health and well being throughout our lives. Mm -hmm. And it's fundamental, um, you know, highly organized process, uh, processes regulated by complex systems of neural uh, or neuronal networks and neurotransmitters. So those things all work properly if we're able to get rest. And, and so get, getting enough quality sleep at the right times can help protect our mental health, our physical health and uh, quality of, of life. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really important to put a sleep hygiene system into place that you can live with and that works for you. And if that's difficult to do, um, there are so many good apps and, and articles on the internet that you can get on that. Uh, last but not least, this is a very interesting one and it was controversial for a while, but I think people, it's pretty easy to sell them on the idea, but connection equals happiness. Mm -hmm. So what do I mean by that? And is that, you know, just, you know, a huggy, happy feeling kind of thing. Here's their blue zones in the world. I think most people know what that is. And if they don't, blue zones are unique areas, um, like on Sardinia on the coast of Italy. There are a couple in Japan uh, as well, where people live very happily and healthily beyond a hundred. And how do they do that? A lot of a lot of it has to do with what we've talked about before. It's it's getting proper rest. It's getting correct nutrient intake. Um, it's getting enough sleep. So most of those blue zone areas, they have no stress in their lives. But interestingly, one of the things that's universal amongst all of them, they have great uh, connections with other people in their community. And they look after each other. They have regular contact on a daily basis. Yeah. They sit down and have nice meals together. Um, and those people tend to be the happiest on, on our planet, which mm -hmm. is pretty interesting to say. So um, having connection and meaning and connection in your life, whether it's with your dog or with your significant other or, or friends or family members, they're very important. And um, just uh, while writing this and having had all the, the history, I was able to see a TED talk, um, which was actually brand new at the time. And it was in the middle of my research, but um, it featured the Harvard study of adult development, also called the Harvard Grant study or the Harvard Grant in Gluex study. And uh, so, yeah, they basically, this group uh, from Harvard kind of surmised exactly what I've just summarized um, that uh, their, their research was so compelling and so well done that having that uh, connecting or, or connection with, you know, your community or friends and all pretty much all the examples I gave actually not only makes you happy, but it, it creates longevity. So yeah. you have uh, more years, more healthy years. And so that on its own, will it do it? It'll do some things. But as I said at the start of this, these things are all super important to do synergistic. If you can do them all, yeah. you will have optimal um, aging. You'll age better, you'll age less, 
you'll have a longer life, you'll have better longevity. And most important to me, it's not just, can I get to 90? It's what's my quality of life getting to 90? I, if I'm gonna live to 90 or even 100, I wanna make sure that those last, you know, 20 years or quality years, I wanna, I wanna still exercise, I wanna still eat wonderfully, I still wanna drink red wine, I still want to be able to have, you know, <laughs> uh, with the significant other lady in my life, that, that type of relationship and, and all the uh, attributes that go with it. Yeah. So I want the quality of my life to be excellent when I'm at that age. So, you know, incorporating these things now, no matter what age you are, can have benefits and can extend your life and the quality of, of that life. And it makes complete sense. And sometimes we think it is complicated to initiate this type of change, right? It's going to take a, a lot of adaptation in, in our life, but actually it's not that difficult. And you just mentioned something very critical is connection. Uh, we live in now, especially we, with COVID, we have been isolated and, and people have suffered from that dramatically. And it has impacted their, not only their mental health, but their physical health. So it's a good reminder to, to hear what you have to say here because you know it doesn't take a, a lot of effort sometimes to initiate this type of change and it can also happen gradually and, and then make a huge difference in like you said the way the way we age you know the way we live and and impact our, our happiness altogether so thank you that was very important to hear those six principles that, that you are talking about in your book you're welcome. Yeah. So, so Richard, we are often our own worst enemy. Uh, we abuse our body. You know, we trigger the onset of all these illnesses that you just talked about. Um, you you talk about the, the body's biological biological process and how you can reverse aging. So, is there if there is one thing that you would like people to to remember that they can initiate right right away now? What would that be? Well, if there was just one single thing I would say that you can do to reap the maximum benefits, if you didn't want to try to take all of these six things on at once, the first one would absolutely be our nutritional intake and what we put in our mouths. We can do remarkable things just with that. If you think about eating all the crappy junk food that we eat in the Western world, the amount of irritation and inflammation that we get internally creates grogginess, um, we're lazy, uh, we don't feel good, our bodies don't respond nicely, we don't walk, we don't exercise well. So just reducing that inflammation on its own would reap enormous benefits. But if we can also make sure we're getting great, uh, you know, great nutrient content from what we're putting in our mouths, things like, I th my favorite food that I think of, which would probably be the most nutritional food on the planet would be Alaskan sockeye salmon. Mm. It's so nutrient dense, that deep red, uh, red color, it's super rich and very important uh, brain nutrients, EPA, DHA. There's nothing else that has that quantity of those. So that, that can have amazing benefits on our brains and our heart. Mm -hmm. So there's so many more examples like that I can give on, on you know, foods that we can eat that would make a huge difference. One, one last thing on that, you know, you think about the dark, rich, deeply, beautifully colored fruits and vegetables. It could be a blueberry, it could be a strawberry, it could be kale. It could be charred. It, it, it's simple to to look at this um, from this perspective. If we can think of those things as being the more richly colored, the more nutrient value, the better it is for us. That's a great philosophy because it's absolutely 100% true. Those things have the most nutrients for us. Yep, yep. So, yeah, the, I, I can go on on the nutritional intake, but if there's one thing I would say, please incorporate that in your life because you'll have less disease, you'll have less heart issues, you'll have less anxiety, you'll sleep better. Um, the list goes on. Yeah, no, thank you. This is great advice and easy to implement. And you know, sometimes we don't know, right? So it's a good reminder as some simple things we can implement right away to start initiating sure. that change. Great. Uh, so Richard, very interesting obviously your book is fascinating i recommend everyone to read it can you tell us how does this book apply to skin modern oh another great question um catherine you know being in the whole wellness space and having spent years in the nutritional supplement industry and now you know in skincare for a decade and a half or maybe even more by now um Clearly, as, as we've already pointed out, I've got a, a vast and broad knowledge of, of wellness as a whole. Um, 
So can we do everything internally and in exercising and sleep? That does fantastic things for your skin without question, especially what we put in our mouths. But we can still um, optimize our external beauty, our skin. Um, so if you can do them hand in hand, and which is what I do, and I, you know, most of our clients do, hopefully, <laughs> I know they ask about all these other things relating to the book. I hope they incorporate them. But if we can do both simultaneously, we really get our best skin because just doing it internally and getting enough sleep and, and, and exercise and all that, it will certainly improve our skin. We get good oxygenation and, and nutrient content to it. But putting really good things topically um, will have a, amazing benefits. And they also work synergistically to what we're doing, you know, with the rest of our bodies. But uh, so, yeah, I really created um, Skin Modern on the back of what I was doing at the time, which was nutritional supplements. I think we spoke about that in another in another interview. But I really see the, the two going hand in hand. So for me, you know, loving this wellness space and kind of having a wellness skincare brand, it goes hand in hand. Um, so, yeah, long story short. Yeah. That, that's really what it's about for me. That, it is beauty from the inside out and outside in. Totally. Synergistically working together, it makes complete sense. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Now tell us where people can buy the book. Yeah, they can buy it on Amazon, um, all over the world on Amazon. So depending on which country they're in. Um, and you can also, they can also get it on our Skin Modern website, okay. which is uh, www.skinmodern and modern spelled M-O-D-E-R-N-E. Like the French uh, pr uh, pronounce it, uh, Catherine. <laughs> dot com. Yeah. Um, so yeah, either place, um, and there's always stock, so that's not an issue. Great, thank you so much. It was fascinating to to listen to to your advice on, on nutrition and how uh, it is important to to combine uh, uh, tropical uh, products as well uh, for our overall skin and the health of our skin. Thank you so much, Richard. I really appreciate your time today. You're welcome, Catherine. Great to be with you again. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.